all of us experience with recruiting developments that are so specially back among us. I just want to take one minute to talk about the actual founding of Virginia Gentleman as it was. So I don't know if any of you know the George Street, uh, Georgetown Cherry Tree Massacre yeah. happens there yet. It's great. It's when some of the, the lesser East Coast schools, Tufts, Harvard, um, Cornell, okay, they get together and have this um, performance of acapella groups. And in February of 1986, 1986, some of us were invited up there as part of the Virginia Gentleman when we were still part of the Glee Club. And um, so we were ready to rock it in our uh, tuxes and bow ties, ready to sing a couple madrigals. And uh, the males were the guy on there and started singing actual music. And we were like um, the monkeys in 2001 Space Odyssey, staring at that obelisk, uh, not knowing what to do. But we came back from that experience and figured if we uh, changed the uniforms a bit, so we came up with uh, like the Chuck Taylors and a bow tie, which in 32 years I still haven't learned how to tie. So forgive me for that. And um, started something that has grown into this. And, and you recognize early on that we recognize our own strengths and weaknesses. So. Musicianship, not so much the strengths. Comedy was what we did, and so, um, <laughs> if you'll forgive me, and I don't want to make the concert too much longer, I've been asked to kind of go through some of the stuff that we used to do. So this is a top 10 list. Um, <laughs> bear with me, this is from the home office in uh, scenic Mar-a-Lago, Florida, so it's all true. Um, I'm still in the military, so I have to be careful what I say. These are the top 10 differences between old school and new age VGs, and I'll let you guys Place yourselves among them as I go through them. So the number one uh, difference for old school uh, VGs is TJ was a, a personal friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> number nine, the old school VGs have actually no idea what UMBC stands for. <laughs> didn't waste time on things like musicianship or, you know, anything music-related. 